here to ride a legendary London, Edinburgh, London, the 1400 kilometer. It's my first time traveling to United Kingdom, first time in London, and the first time be here and doing this ride and finish this ride, it will be out of this world for me. It's an endurance contest. It's how much can you take, how much can you ride, how long can you last, can you go one more day. It's taking yourself to the next level. It's pushing yourself beyond what you think you can do. And now, as of um, the beginning of June, um, I did a double Ironman, and I'm the current GB National Ultra Distance Triathlon Champion. I'm a bit worried I kind of have aspirations beyond my sort of capabilities. I've only been riding a bike sort of as an adult for, for three or four years. But I've never done a ride where I've stopped riding at the end of one day and started again the following day. So that will be a completely new experience and hopefully, I mean, I don't necessarily know how I'm going to cope with that. I'm quite meticulous about my uploading to various platforms on the internet and um, religiously check to see what segments I've uh, won um, I just lost one about 10 minutes ago whilst I was sat here. When my boss for, for five, six years ago, he asked me, or he told me we should build a factory in China. And I raised my hand directly and said, if you do, send me to China. So this is my personality. When it came back to what's the, the one thing that I would, you know, I can imagine spending my life doing. Studying mathematics has always been the, the number one thing. My daughter describes me as pretty cool. Uh, my husband knows that I'm crazy. I'm here on my own by myself. I'm just ready for whatever the adventure brings. My motivation is to see whether it's possible to do um, a mileage of about 250 miles a day. And I don't know if it's possible, but I also don't believe in the word can't. LEL 2013 looks like a long way from where I'm standing right now, but it's um, the biggest journey I'll ever have ever taken uh, in a number of different ways. It's a certain sort of middle age thing, although I've kind of been doing this for a while, so there is the sense of maybe a midlife crisis coming on, but I've, I've had this midlife crisis for quite a long time. I'm not interested in being one person at work and one person at home. Absolutely not. I, I am who I am, and I, I, there's no downtime for personal brand. <laughs> When I was 16, I had a horrendous accident because I was on my cousin's bike and I came off it really, really badly. I smashed my teeth up, um, completely wrecked his bike, spent days in the hospital with a scarred brain and bruised brain, and um, I wasn't sure I was going to come back to so-called so normality. Some people said I haven't, but 10 days later, I was out of hospital with severe memory loss and teeth all over the place, and, uh, and it took me a good four years then to get back on a bike anyway. I went to work on, you just qualified on, on the mental health ward, hadn't you? And I went to work on there as a student nurse. And what was the first engagement we had? This lady had become incontinent in a chair. And I was round the corner and all I could hear was from newly qualified <coughs> staff nurse here, go and get Paula, she's a student, she's a general student, she'd sort it out. Well, in Texas, we have a lot of people that we call rednecks. <laughs> so every redneck has got a pickup. They might even have a shotgun. How's the training going? The training's been going well. So on all these endurance things, it's a chance to look at the map and say, right, where haven't I rid, ridden yet in the southern part of the UK? And begin to think, OK, that's great. I'll, I'll go and fill in those gaps. And then think, right, OK, well, I'll skirmish over into northern France and do some stuff over there. Half of it is your mental strength. Uh, because I know I, I will regret I started London, Edinburgh and London many times during the three days I'm on my bike, but you have to continue. We usually go to dinner after the ride. Then, then we talk about you know, work, life, cycling, uh, grumbling about wives. <laughs> <laughs> It's difficult to say Englishness, but uh, for me, it's a bad breakfast. You have a very nice motorbikes, and you have good cars, but you drive on the wrong side. So, for me, this this will be a crazy ride. I'm not a person who doesn't have a 
ねまあ逆に私が先にやっちゃってるから、まあ、どっちかと教える立場になってるような感じだけど実はもうずっと教えられてあと追いかけてる感じなんですねすでにもう,もう私のリーダーになってるそんな感じですね。I'm feeling good. I, I just want to, to start.、Uh, I waited for this for half a year now. So,、uh. It's just hard being at this stage as well because you know, I've got my wife and my baby in front of me and I'm waving goodbye to them. You know. <laughs> Off we go. En route. The first part has been absolutely frenetic. We covered the miles at a ferocious pace, and then we continued to cover the miles at a ferocious pace once we left the first control point. And quite frankly, we're going too quick. I think I'm going to pay a really heavy price for it in、uh, a little bit further down the line. I have to admit, cycling saved my life because in 2008 I was on my bike, I felt like a pain in my chest. But I went to the doctor, and I told the doctor that's what happened to me. He says, To me, you shouldn't even be able to walk. Come from the parking lot to inside of the hospital. He says, I don't know how you did it. But I said, it's a do or die. I would rather to die on a bike and just do nothing. So I had a quadruple bypass heart surgery. It says、um, 1400, London, Edinburgh, London.、Yeah. And then there's another one which says, we're, we're,、um, Good luck, Steve. Our brother in law died of a brain tumor. In February, and then you decided it would be a good idea, and it is a good idea, to raise money for the hospice that cared for him. So, have you got a touch in £3,000, haven't you? Yeah. But it put a lot of pressure on. Don't want to let him down. <laughs> let him down. Still, the kind of ever present thing of you know, not halfway yet, even, and like, you know, I've got another day to get to halfway. <laughs> Going to ride with Yoshi, but I lost him in the in early stage. I thought that he was riding with me, but when I looked around, he was gone, so I decided to carry on. Hey, Stefan, how are you doing? It's okay. I have to go. If you don't see your again. Yeah, I'll be rather shocked. Well, I think he, he will carry you. Success for me during this ride is to finish within three days. I will go from London all the way to Edinburgh and then go back one checkpoint. I think it's 750k or something. 
And uh, then I'm also enough tired to be able to sleep three hours. You, you don't need to wait for us, keep going. I'm on schedule, so it's okay. Time-wise, it seems, it seems to be on a winner at the minute, but like I say, it's been easy, it's been favourable, and I know anything can happen. Uh, but I think after the next control, uh, up and down menace. Okay, see ya. I have this worry that because I'm constantly trying to find the next thing and the longer thing and the harder thing, that I won't actually ever be satisfied with the last thing I do, that there'll always be something else. Because I've told my mate Joy I've got to trap her off with somebody. Because she likes the idea of this, because the men folk disappear for ages. And you have a day out with your mates, don't you? And her sister's just bought her house in an up, So we've got weekends away <laughs> planned. So she needs a man with her that does all daxing so they can all beg her off and we spend a weekend in an octop. This has been a bit of a grim leg from the uh, last leg to here. Uh, unfortunately, I got a bit sick on the way, so I ended up having to stop and be sick off the side of the bike. How the hell am I going to get my head around the fact that my average speed has dropped hugely? Uh, am I going to make it? Um, so this is clearly going to be my, my test on this ride. I'm just generally thinking why I'm doing it. And um, am I going to finish? And that's going from my head quite a lot. I actually tried to distract myself at some points and I was singing Cutting My Nogue songs. <laughs> that's how bad it got. <laughs> na, 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 that one. <laughs> I didn't get sleep for ages because of the noise. Cacophony of snoring and then just people making strange noises. Yeah, it's horrible. They're going into Scotland, uh, so yeah. Well, 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 I have to. Once I leave, I'll, I'll, pretty much there's no turning back. But it is starting to get a bit dark. But I'm hopefully, yeah, we'll make reasonable headway. And yeah, across into Scotland and then call it a night. I just want to get to Moffat. I can get there and uh, I hope I can get in, get a bed for longer than three hours. It would be nice. Yeah, I suppose we'll see what happens once it starts getting darker as well. Um, so I'll try not to fall asleep on the bike. And, uh... <laughs>
didn't realise the implications of what I was signing up for. I think that's the number one thing. So I signed up for Christmas and I'd been, what, cycling for six months. Six months. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a good ride, I'll do that. Let it go on momentum. I'll give a commitment to other people. So it's rather than for myself, it's like a commitment I've given to others. Because if it was me on my own and I've just signed up, nobody would know, I'd probably, probably be on the train home. <laughs> All be in Scotland now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The first 200k was quite easy, quite flat, uh, and then it started to get a, a little hilly. Like at 250, it was a little uh, steep climb, and then after 450, oh my God, then it started the real race. <sighs> now I just want to finish. <laughs> no. First, I want to reach Edinburgh because that is a milestone, and then then head back as fast as possible. Yeah. Depends on what side you sat, Chris. Phone me and tell me what time you think you're going to be in Edinburgh. sort of closed in on you and you're on these unlit roads and it's just the sort of bobbing headlights of the other people you're with or whatever and sort of the odd blinking red LED up in the distance and when you are especially when you are you know really sleepy running on three hours sleep. stick with light for as long as possible. It's kind of, it's got to me a little bit. It's not for me. <laughs> I'm going to hide. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> now that I'm here, the food's really nice. I've, I'm in Edinburgh, like I've done the ridden halfway. As so, I feeling good and uh, raring to go, raring to get back to where I've just come from. I've never been in Scotland before. These people speak weird. I don't, I can't really tell much, and they can't understand me either. <laughs> Where's Yoshi? Uh, he had, I just got the message from him and he has retired. He had dropped out from the LEL in, he's in Brampton now. My lifetime history, I'm getting old. My body doesn't follow my brain. <laughs> I wait uh, my friend. And uh, maybe tomorrow uh, I go back to London. Do you feel thankful that you did that training with Yoshi? Yeah, yeah. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I mean, probably I would have dropped out earlier. Yeah. So it's a quite shame that he has uh, given up. It's a bit of a sort of conflict, really, in that you you want to enjoy it and, and sort of um, so you, it's something you've been looking forward to. But at the same time, there is a sense of actually kind of wanting to get it done. I don't really understand the the size of the challenge when I start doing it. I try not to think that it's only halfway. It's kind of hard work when you know every kind of turn of the pedal is actually hurting a bit. 
all the excitement and the build-up and the funds at the beginning, you know, everyone's excited, loud, and it was just a real sense of expectation, and, and, and then it's just here, and it's just sort of, you know, it, it, it'll sort of, one by one, they drift off, and you're just kind of left there on your own, you know, and sort of, oh, it's over. I mean, oh, I've got to put all this stuff away now. <laughs> we, don't, we don't eat bits of things in Texas. We eat a whole hell of a lot of it. <laughs> But around here, you do a bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> I sing songs as ridiculous as it sounds when, when I'm getting near the control, like, you know. Like, I'll go for the numbers, going for like when there's, you know, 9K left to go, so nine, that's pretty fine. And when it gets to eight, that's pretty great. And, you know, seven or oh, near heaven, you know what I mean? And I, I'm, I'm very good at, uh, I enjoy my own company, as they say, which I think definitely helps if you're sat on a bicycle <laughs> for, for however many hours a day. A rich interior world is a joy to own, as a rap artist once said. There's a lot of people here who are here for the, you know, meeting up with friends, doing something together. That's not really why I'm here. Whether I'm doing it for the right reasons in other people's minds, doesn't really worry me. It's just a piece of cake. Look. It's a bit of cake. <laughs> Finish this up, get some water, try and find some bananas, and then... And hills and hills and hills and hills and hills. Lady, I could have stayed at home and been spoken to like this. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> at this, I'm kind of happy. I got the shot of cigarette malt scotch this morning. Very early, like four o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, I will stay alive. That's how I managed so far. Stay alive this side of the road, not the other side of the road. It's a part of life. If you don't take risks and if you don't take chances, you'll never be successful. And you don't enjoy things that you like. I thought he's coming uh, around 9 o'clock, but now after 11. So it, it may happen something. I, I worry about that. <laughs> yeah. We're behind. We were meant to be in Pocklington if we were going to do 400 Ks every 24 hours. That's not looking likely. likely. And most people have been saying to us that that's completely unrealistic. Um, there's a chance that we can we can bring back some time on some of the fast sections, the flatter sections, but it's unlikely that we'll ever come anywhere near the, the schedule. Mm, 
もう私食事の方もダメになって胃の調子も良くなかったからねこれは無理かな一回乾燥してるまあそうで観光が<笑>まあ今回は北川さんの応援できてるから<笑>まあゆっくりまた頑張ってますまあ無理しなきゃ大丈夫ですよ食べ,食べるのと寝るの確,確実にとってますねヒーセンミアピクチャーオブディヒムセルフアンビューティフルマナーハウスそうヒーセンとビーハッピーとクリエイトああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Compliment you anymore? No, you are not kid anymore.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, it's nice to hear. It's such a beautiful, beautiful day right now. The sun's just opened up, and like the, the hills to the left of me, they're, they're like patchwork quilts, all the different colours, the different fields. It's just great.、We've、got a nice descent ahead of me. There's beautiful hills climbing today, nothing too, too steep thus far. It's just nice to be out, appreciating this beautiful scenery, just、uh, playing with the thoughts in my head, having random chats to people on passing. Oh, it's all good. It's on days like this that I feel like I could cycle, cycle forever almost, you know what I mean? So how how is Scotland? Oh, rainy, 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 rainy and hilly. Oh my God, and cold. It was 7.7 degrees this morning. Oh, harder than you expected? Yes, yes. It took much longer time than expected. Much longer. Thank you. How many have registered so far? Oh, about 30 today. So far. My sense of, of what time it is, it, it doesn't work. What day or whatever. Everything floats together. Like I don't know. You feel, are you enjoying it? Not now. No. It's difficult. Very difficult. It's just phoning me, telling me nowhere it was. 
and I was almost in the car going looking for him. I thought, I can't do that because it's this thing like it's not funny for me now because it's hard. Is there ever a danger that you maybe stop for too long or you, you relax too much somewhere like this? No. It's so always good with the short stainless, like 60, 67, because it, if it's 84, 85, it's, oh, it's not, never can be stolen. Did you see the, the, what we think is the last one, a uh, Japanese guy? Did you see him? He will never <laughs> make it, never. In this morning, I was two hours behind the closing time in a first control of today. And in a second control, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm about one hour, 15 minutes late. But I'm not worried about it because uh, considering the time left and distance, um, I'm on the right track. Oops. Now, quarts to ten, and I need to head off into the, the dark, cold, uh, horrible, horrible night and uh, see how far I can get this evening. Uh, not so great. Last night, I had like massive, terrible pains in my legs, and I was like, oh, it's, it's gone now this morning, I feel great. It lasted for all of sort of 15, 20 minutes, and the pain kind of came back. I had to keep going until I got to. Um, Alston, I think it is, about 30 kilometers out, and uh, bought some ibuprofen. Uh, and I'm, I'm pilled up on ibuprofen at the moment, which uh, works, which does work, but um, as far as the old legs are concerned, they're, they're not in the, the best state of their lives. I saw fewer and fewer cyclists around, and when you look at their, their numbers, they are usually X. Y, Z, like last bits of the alphabet. And I didn't, I don't see any B, C, I'm C. I don't see anyone who are like first half of the alphabet, which is a bit sad. Of course I'm tired, but not exhausted. I think my speed is still very clear and high, still optimistic. I've been thinking, I can't do this, I'm not fit enough. And you know, there's another colleague of mine from Dulwich who's probably in bed right now, having completed. But actually, that's not really important. The fact is that he's finished, and I think I can too. This has been an incredible adventure, and I've met people and experienced things and found stuff inside that I didn't know was there. I've ridden a 1,000 kilometers that I've never done before. I've ridden to Scotland inside 48 hours. I've ridden to Edinburgh. There are so many positives from that. I would be disappointed, but it would not be life ending. Yes, it would be the icing on the cake, and that's why I'm leaving in the middle of the night to go and ride through the countryside to get to somewhere else in time. I suppose the point is, obviously, if you're doing a, a sort of trial of endurance that something like this is, there are going to be moments where you have to kind of endure and this is obviously you know going out into the dark and uh, trying to get to you know somewhere closer to London uh, maybe this is the moment in the ride that is the the sort of test of uh, you know perseverance and kind of uh, I absolutely detest cycling at night <laughs> it's a very sort of lonely experience it's not there's not much fun about it as far as i'm concerned i've been speaking to a lot of people who uh, love riding in the dark so I, 
don't know what that's about, but it really, I mean, I'm sort of chasing the time limit at the moment. Um, I need to be in Market Raisin by six o'clock tomorrow morning. So I, it, it takes five hours to get there. Um, it's got to happen in the next seven hours, five hours of riding. It's, it's got to be during the night. So uh, it is what it is. So it's quite interesting just to be placed in a position where you can say, OK, we can go to bed if you like, or have a look inside and see if you can find something to ride out and it's cold and wet and finish somewhere else to give yourself some more time. And that's kind of something I've enjoyed a great deal. Well, they normally point you in the right direction, don't they? Yeah. What's going to keep you going, you going through this next stage? <laughs> that's assuming that I do keep going through this next stage. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, the ability to put up with misery, <laughs> to endure misery. Just keep riding and think, this is really horrible, but I've just, I don't have any other option. Are you considering stopping? Um, I did. I was sat over there for, well, I was eating, but I sort of sat and had a sort of good long think, and I was like, can't really. So it's not really an option. And that's that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they are closing and it's, it's, it becomes less lively. But um, there's no waiting time. There's a plenty of bed that you can sleep at. And the places are empty. So um, I don't have to waste my time waiting for the food or toilet or shower or bed at all. So, yeah, still on the track, I think. We are now in Market Raisin, and I've come from Pocklington, and it's 80 kilometres. I had some hallucination, hallucination going on. Sheep walking out into the road, and it turned out to be white lines, stuff like that, and bushes moving, and uh, couldn't keep my eyes open, but we managed to get here. Had a stomach upset, which is not great. Um, I came off my bike in Scotland, which is not great. Uh, so I've got a sore shoulder. Um, and then, you know, just being on a bike for a long time, things start hurting. <laughs> I don't know why anybody's doing this. You know, and people that do this every four years, it's just like, what's that all about? <laughs> Will you do it again? No. Uh, I just hope my stomach issues recover, really. I've, I've been in a lot of fields, people like that. <laughs> There's about somewhere between eight and 12 of us stretched out in quite a long line. And, you know, anyone could have gone down if they was tired. Your balance goes. Very easy to lose it. And out in the wilderness, as it were, at this time in the morning, no, not a good thing. But that's probably what this event's all about. People pushing themselves to do stuff that they wouldn't normally do. I'm looking forward to about two hours sleep and then start again. training for this, there was, um, was an old guy who does Audaxes, and uh, I was in a cafe and he said to me, don't go mad on the first day because you'll regret it. 
So within about an hour, we've gone mad <laughs> on the first day. Yeah. And uh, I've regretted it ever since. What did your mum say? I'll never go on a bike again. She said, oh, we'll never go on a bike again when he's done this. But he said, we better have to. He's got four of them sat there. <laughs> better be going on a bike again. <laughs> funny before once it had um, previous control walked into a chemist and the girl just looks at, looks at us and uh, the, the, she must have said something to the guy at the counter the guy at the counter started explaining oh, which London they're in London they're all on the bike ride we're all in there for chamois cream basically <laughs> fast food or anything and she was just went I wonder why y'all walked in like that I thought I was walking normally <laughs> But the, funny, the, funniest, the funniest thing was, he said, um, have you got any moisturising cream? And she said, for your face? And he said, let's just say yeah. <laughs> That time on a single speed bike, um, keeping going, yeah, it feels great. <laughs> I mean, you went round really fast, you know. <laughs> given, I, I heard to the guys who came first. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was reasonably quick, yeah. You know, there's still people who are kilometres and kilometres away. Yeah, and, and yesterday lunchtime, I was yeah, sitting here having a nice sandwich and food and stuff. Yeah, I know, I don't know how they're doing it, to be honest. Absolutely ruined. That was the toughest, probably the toughest stage so far. Um, that headwind must be 20, 25 miles an hour for 80 kilometres straight across the fens with nothing to protect you except the odd tree. So it's just unrelenting. I mean, I feel, I mean, you can never tell like how you'll feel two hours down the road. Um, I feel like I'm sort of quite topped up as far as energy levels and such are concerned. The first half. It's really hot, but it's going to cool down, and I'm fairly confident about you know time limits and such. And I've just uh, seen my parents as well, and they're going to meet me at the end. So uh... I try and be upbeat, as you know, but my feet ache, um, my undercarriage is ruined, um, my hands are numb, and I can't remember my own name. We should finish, but n you know it's probably going to be another night cycle again, unfortunately, which is something I did not really want to do. All bets are off, but I'm going to, I'm going to get on my bike and I'm going to point it towards the next control, and beyond that, I, I'm not going to, you know, that's, that's as, as good as it's going to get. <laughs> the feeling to cross the finish line after this kind of, of uh, endurance race is, you can't, you can't describe it. So good feeling. It's not about that the ride is finished. It's about a memory and what you take away from here. I will stay with you forever. The people touched my life and that never changed. 
the last 200k was the, the worst, I think. Brutal, really hilly and hot. It was up, down, up, down, up, down, and an immediate worry for the people who are at the back of the pack, because if they've made the mistake that we made, then they might be in trouble. I'm doing this right, and uh, unless you've got a really good reason to give up, like you've broken your arm or something, it's a bit pathetic to just say, I got a bit tired, so I stopped. I do worry about it, like, if there are sort of really difficult times where I'm kind of on, on the verge of giving up. I'm not, I'm not sure how resilient I am as a person. In your mind, if you're sort of kind of mentally sort of saying, I'm OK, I'm now I'm going to give up, then very quickly you can let that happen. I'd be here at 7 or 8 o'clock. And what is it? 11. So those people that were back there at the back, close on time, they're not going to make it. Oh, God, I'd just be so mad if I didn't make it. The closing time is going to be 2.55 today. So, yeah, about another 25 minutes or so. Coming. Yeah. 
How long is left? Is congratulations, you've earned this. Thanks very much. Cheers. There you go. You. you can sleep in here. It might be better to sleep outside because it's cooler. How's that plan?